What's up guys, Bradley's Garage here. Working on a uh, Audi TT today, MK1. Uh, we're gonna be doing the convertible top replacement. So as you can see, we, uh, we picked up this car, but uh, it's got a little issue. Uh, rear window fell out and uh, you know, you can try to re-glue it, but uh, you know, chances are it's just gonna fail again. So we got a new top and we're gonna throw it in, show you what it's like. Okay, so obviously step one, release the top. Now we can start, you know, working on stuff. Um, we're gonna take off, uh, you know, we gotta get the, the material is held on on these bars right here, and it's held on by uh, a little Phillips. So basically, they're just little short screws. They're, they're gonna hold on, the, the, the sleeve is, uh, it, the material is wrapped around this crossbar, and this is basically the sleeve that goes over it. So you're gonna have four of them and they're gonna have a screw on each side. Like I said, it's just a little tiny nothing screw. So take those out and then you'll be able to take off this. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a, I think it's made out of plastic, honestly. It's kind of cheap. So basically we just wanna take the, the bars off. It's just kind of like a U-shaped uh, piece of plastic. So be gentle, be gentle, be ever so gentle. Okay, as you can see, it's just a little, pla it actually is plastic, so just a little plastic channel that goes over. So basically after you take that off, then I just got it started. And then like I said, it just has, they put a little like line of epoxy, which you will get, you know, in the kit when you buy the new top. And then basically now we've, you know, freed it. So uh, we'll be able to take, you know, the top off the bar. So you just do this on all four bars. So next step is uh, I just kind of opened up the top. I'm actually just standing in the seats with, uh, without my shoes on. And then we're gonna pull off uh, the front frame. So basically just uh, pull these uh, screws out and I use a little pry tool to hold the plastic off. Um, like I said, the, the handle, um, I even messed around with a car in the junkyard and uh, ended up breaking the handle. So, you know, you can just use your pry tool expose the Phillips screws that are underneath there and basically you're just going to take this uh, this little metal retaining bar that's there so the next step is we have to uh, sometimes this thing is a little stuck so you can just do your little tool along there so the goal is to uh, slip this metal you know, retaining bar um, out from underneath the plastic so it, there's a little bit of metal that goes underneath. As you can tell, we, you know, it was screwed in underneath here. So, like I said, taking off this, I don't know, it didn't seem easy. So I'm just gonna say you, you can get this out very easily and you can pass it through the plastic and then just work yourself, work, work your way down go now it exposes all the screws that are uh, right there and then like I said you don't have to worry about this this thing so now you can just uh, remove all the screws that are actually holding the canvas uh, to the frame so just take those out so I'm just gonna kind of loosen it up a little bit this has a uh, the front clip here has a hard piece of plastic as a liner underneath the canvas so I was just going to uh, just make sure that the hard plastic is free so you just run your run your little tool along there see it has like a little sticky thing and then yeah then we'll be able to slide that off here momentarily there all right so now it's loose next step is we have to take off uh, uh, this rubber trim and it just pulls out of a channel so it's really easy it just has uh, two sides 
you can just pull it right out of the channel. That's super easy, okay? So you set that aside, and then what we got to do is uh, expose. There's a little bit of uh, glue, epoxy, right here under this little flap. This flap is um, just covering the uh, cable, the cable that runs along the edge of the convertible top. So you want to just grab this. Okay, and now, once we get that, now we see our cable right here. See, so just try to get a little screwdriver in there and, like I said, you're just trying to bend it just ever so slightly so you can, without tweaking it too much, and then basically the cable will just push right out. So then the new cable, you're gonna slide it in and then just give it a little bit of crimp. So now we're unhooked there. Okay. Now we just have, there's a little bit of glue right on this corner. So just stick your little pry tool up there. Separate that, that glue. Like I said, and then this should just, if you got all the glue out of this corner, then this should just slide right off. Okay, and now, <clears throat> now we're ready to, you know, start peeling the top back. So, we ready? Okay, so it turns out that uh, I, I still can't figure out how to take this stupid handle off. So, um, it, I just screw it. There's like a Torx over here. I screw it and not, it just spins and spins. So, um, but the bottom line is we do have to get this uh, plastic thing loose. So there's, for some stupid reason, they put a T25 Torx back here. Uh, as a support so we have to just I, I think we, we're gonna be able to get all the screws if we just loosen this and then we can kind of you know kind of maneuver it back and forth on this center point here so yeah like I said I don't know what the hell they're thinking to put a, a Torx like right there but lo and behold there's a normal VW you know Audi Torx right there Okay, so on each side of the handle, there's two metal strips that are just underneath the plastic. It's going to be three uh, Phillips screws on each side. So just uh, you can kind of see here that uh, remove those and you'll be able to take those bars kind of like uh, just metal retaining bars out. So then it just uh, is stuck, you know, with a little more of the epoxy stuff. So you just peel it back and then it's just connected there. And then we already took the two out of there, out of the center. So the hole goes towards the front, it's just a little Allen, it's obviously like a little tension strap. Okay, and then that comes off. Everything is, has the thread locker on it, the blue thread locker, so that's why you hear it, you know, things are tight. Easier just to get... Pull this one out of the way. Okay. Just pull that off. So basically, you have one here, one here, and then one down here. You got to take this little bracket that holds the, the weather stripping on, you got to take it off in order to access the rivets that hold uh, the top on. Okay, so we're gonna take off one, two, three, and you kind of have to like position, position the top, open it up a little bit in order to have access to, you know, the top hole. kind of a pain but I'm just gonna grab the 
the shim out of there. So we know there was a shim here, a shim here, and nothing at the top. I'm not sure what they think. This is the, the top's gonna fall off because of this stupid thing. Oh my God, so ridiculous. All right, ay ay ay. That's just stupid. Look at that, all that thread locker. Just so you guys can see it clearly, this is the, the three screws. This is the, the uh, little metal bar that holds the weather stripping on. So what I'm saying is this needs to come out of the way in order to access these four rivets. So the next step is to drill these rivets out and that's the last piece uh, holding the top to the front of the frame. So fortunately this is you know part of the top so they just uh, put a little goop on it to stick it there and then those four pop rivets you know hold it in place I mean I don't know why they didn't have a little you know they use short little screws everywhere else I don't know why they didn't use screws there but um, anyway as you can tell now the top is free. Okay, so after you get the rivets out, uh, sometimes they get stuck a little bit. So just get yourself uh, a little pointed punch and you can just tap out the, the rest of the rivet. It gets stuck in the frame a little bit. This, uh, we got the a cable attachment point. So it's a, I don't know why they switched to T20, but oh, I can't even, oh mother. I'm like, I can barely get my ratchet in there but it's enough it's got enough because like i said once again it's you know thread locker okay that's basically the cable attachment point get the little stubby phillips in there and get this attachment point unhooked so these two screws hold on the the bar, the rear bar, little Torx. So basically this liner just lifts straight up and out of a groove. This is just a little waterproof thing. So you just peel it off all the way down. That disconnects the car from the back of from the back of the top. Okay. Now this part's connected to the car, you don't have to mess with. Now this back bar is connected to the top, but I'm pretty sure that we can do all this with the new top outside of the car, and then just insert this whole piece, attach the two uh, Torx bolts on each side, make it super easy for us. So we're gonna give that a go. Okay, so basically I just put a piece of wood here at the right height to hold the, the bar up so we can get these tabs out of our way because this is also holding uh, the part of the canvas. Okay, so after you get the two tabs off, off the back, and then inside uh, along the back is going to be another metal strip that is attached to the bar, the rearmost bar. So there's like a little pocket there. That's the, the drain pocket. So when it rains, it goes into that little pocket. So as you can see, just make sure you get it all off of the frame. And, you know, you'll find some spot where it gets hung up a little bit. Guys, so figured, uh, you know, we're trying to uh, access the screws in the back, and it's just impossible with the hoops. So, pull this stuff apart, take the seat belt out, um, take the seat belt out, and get your little clips that hold the seat belt frame. And then, basically, we want to. Uh, take this piece off um, yeah, I'm not sure what held this one on this just had to go afterwards I'm sure bro. this one's kind of a pain in the ass it has six uh, clips that are, are uh, one two 
and then they're down the bottom. Plus, the there's four torques uh, that you can access. You can see clearly right here. So basically, once you get the four off, then you have to pry strategically. So just keep in mind, it's like basically even with this, and right in the middle of this upper part, and because it's tight as hell. Same kind of thing, right? And how it comes off, I don't know. And obviously, there's something over here. A clip. Yeah. Obviously, you know something. There you go. You're getting it. You're getting it. I mean, you know, and it's up against this. So it's not. I you just need a longer. What do you call it? Longer hook. Uh, tool. Pry right? bar. Yeah. I just lifted it up. Yeah, I remember There's something still holding. Right. Ah. In order to take the hoop out after you get the cover off, then pull out the Allen. Your side over there. Okay. It'll take then... a mallet to get it out. And it's kind of stuck. Get a mallet. There you go. All right, done. All right, guys. Uh, so we got everything dismantled. Um, thanks for watching part one. Uh, stay tuned for part two, where we're gonna put this guy back together. Uh, see you on the next one.